the telecommunications industry is preparing to embark on the transition to the fifth generation of mobile technology, 5G promises a leap in technological capabilities unleashing new opportunities to digitize more segments of everyday life. For operators, 5G is an opportunity to make a big push beyond connectivity and capture value for at least the Internet of Things, optimized services and mobile broadband. Coming up next is a global keynote on 5G unlocking the new revenue streams. I would like to welcome Mats Granite, Director General GSMA for this session. Welcome Mr. Granite. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hello from, from London. Uh, I am really honored to join you today and thank you so much to Economic Times for your very kind invitation. It is really my pleasure to be here with you today. Now at the GSMA, our vision is to unlock the full power of connectivity so that people, uh, industry and society thrive. Now this is our focus in normal times of business, in difficult times like the last two years, and times of opportunity like this year. Uh, in 2022, as we work on economic recovery, it is time now, I think, to ask ourselves, how can the public and private sectors collaborate and work together to ensure that digital transformation benefits all citizens? We all know that mobile connectivity has never been more important as we move to an era of meaningful connectivity. The combination of 5G, AI, IoT, and big data is turning on digitization across all industries and across all countries. So uh, let's look, uh, take a look first at 5G globally. By the end of last year, almost 180 mobile operators, or 176 to be precise mobile operators, had launched 5G services in 70 markets. And the moment of 5G adoption has been boosted by the economic recovery from the pandemic, rising 5G handset sales and network coverage expansions. In fact, Samsung expects 5G smartphones to account for more than half of all smartphone sales this year. Pretty amazing. And globally, we will reach 1 billion 5G connections by the end of this year, by the end of 2022. And a new wave of rollouts in large markets, such as India, could further incentivize mass production of 5G devices. By the end of 2025, more than two in five people will live within reach of a 5G network globally. And that is quite significant. Over the last two years, we have seen how mobile operators have risen to multiple unexpected challenges with extraordinary contributions. Of course, mobile operators have long been pioneers in acting ethically and responsibly in the digital age, and India has set a strong and firm foundation. We know that mobile is the primary way that Indians access the internet, uh, that 4G networks are already available to almost 99% of the population, and that consumers benefit from some of the lowest prices for mobile services in the world. India now has the opportunity to become a 5G leader by enabling infrastructure, affordability, consumer readiness, and content and services. India is already one of the largest and fastest growing markets for digital consumers, propelled by both public and private sectors. And this digital transformation is expected to reshape consumers, uh, consumer provider interactions in healthcare, education, agriculture, retail logistics, well, in fact, actually all sectors, and create significant economic value for consumers, businesses, and the government. Being a connected nation comes with, with opportunities and challenges, and collaboration is key. 5G will be, bring transformation in India with unimagined uh, social and, and economic benefits. In fact, between 2020 and 2040, the GSMA, we're forecasting that 5G technologies will make an overall contribution of, a, of approximately 455 billion US dollars to the Indian economy, reaching 0.6% of GDP by 2040. And 5G will enable new use cases. 
that were just not possible with previous technological standards. We will see enhanced mobile broadband, massive internet of things, massive IoT, fixed wireless access, ultra reliable, low latency communications. 5G has the potential to provide a large multiplier effect to the economy. In combination with AI, big data, blockchain, smart platforms, and IoT. And at the same time, as we're seeing a blurring between rural and urban due to urban to rural migration and population shifts, uh, shifts uh, with the pandemic. And the very first steps to the realization of these benefits are a clear 5G spectrum roadmap and the timely assignment of adequate and affordable spectrum. And so we urge governments and policymakers to develop policy frameworks that act as a stimulus for the mobile industry to ensure a rapid and sustainable 5G deployment uh, and India's digital vision. The availability of mid-band spectrum is really, really essential to, to the success of 5G in India. In the immediate term, the three and a half gigahertz band is crucial for the introduction of 5G. And is as, uh, as it is currently the only available band below seven gigahertz in India that can offer sufficient bandwidth. In the medium term, around two gigahertz of mid-band spectrum is required to meet the demand by 2030. The six gigahertz band will be key to realizing this requirement. And we recommend its inclusion in India's 5G spectrum roadmap to ensure full speed and capabilities. In fact, there is a clear threat to growth if sufficient six gigahertz spectrum is not made available for 5G. Necessary for greater inclusion, affordability, connectivity for all users, and the data speeds and capacity needed for smart cities, industrial automation, and transport. To realize the full potential of 5G, spectrum auction reserve prices should also be set as conservatively as possible to allow for price discovery in the auction through competitive bidder and to minimize the risk of, of unsold spectrum, which would be a horrible shame. And uh, there are different spectrum access options to cater to the needs of uh, private networks. Uh, in deciding on the appropriate approach for India, TRAI should avoid deviating from market-based mechanisms unless there's a clear evidence of market failure. And the decision on policy option must be supported by uh, cost-benefit analysis. And the uh, millimeter wave spectrum is necessary to achieve the full vision of 5G and so should not be overlooked. Millimeter wave is very, very important. Uh, for India, millimeter wave enabled 5G deployments will deliver 150 billion US dollars in additional GDP over the period 2025 to 2040, hence its importance. So it is important that sufficient millimeter wave spectrum is made available to support investments in 5G millimeter wave networks and the emergence of innovative uses and application across all industry sectors. As I said in the beginning, at the DSMA, our vision is to unlock the full power of mobile connectivity so that people, industry, and society thrive. And mobile operators need the financial certainty and quality guarantee that licensed spectrum offers them to make the massive long-term investments in critical infrastructure, allowing citizens and society to continue to thrive. So with those words, Thank you very much, and I wish you all a very successful 5G Congress. Thank you, and bye-bye. Thank you, Mats, for sharing your knowledge on how 5G is unlocking new revenue streams. Dear viewers, hope you all are finding these sessions interesting. Stay tuned, as there are more such interesting sessions.